Welcome back to Space Haven. Now, we are in this system where there are two derelicts. There are pirates there, and uh, we are not equipped to deal with the pirates yet, but uh, we're building a scanner so we can possibly scan these uh, vessels before we do anything. Also, uh, again, uh, I got some uh, helpful uh, tips from uh, Fargo 5 which is to build um, what's it called a co2 generator thingy majingy let's see if i can find that mm, resource food yeah co2 producer it's going to use some um, of our um, Uh, what's it called? It's going to use some of our carbon. Geesh, that was difficult. Let's build that there. And then we close the vents for that room. And the plants themselves will uh, produce enough oxygen. So... Another tip he gave me was to, instead of using these in the industrial room, just use a lot of these instead, beside every machine. So we might do that as well, but for now let's... Um... Yeah, those are marked for dismantling, good. But of course they are asleep. Catherine, poor Catherine, is uh, stuck at the uh, operations console or navigation console. And she's lonely. The temperature in there probably isn't splendid. build a thermal regulator there. Well, maybe that one will make be enough. Let's build it first and see. Power not linked. Let's uh, deal with that. So, if I link this one to this one and that one, and this one just link like that. Yeah. Okay, so I have one of those on the floor there. It's covering a lot of the room down there, which is partially why I have it there. deal with that later on. Okay, so the the scanner is done. How does that work? There. It appears to be working. Yep, it is. Do anything though. Hmm. 
PCS Dreadnought and PCS Adamant Statecraft. We can hail them, but... Uh, Oh well, um, it was worth an attempt though. So the shield generator, yeah, we have enough to build those. What's the power look like? Yeah, the wall there is covered as well. So we can build a wall light. I expect it's time for bed though. What's the temperature here now? 18 degrees, so yeah, it's okay. So pretty sure that these things are going to require a massive amount of power. So it's probably a good idea to build a power capacity node here. Maybe not build light, but build a power capacity node instead. Link this thing. So now we have two shields. And we have two turrets. Catherine is working on getting the shields up. After they've slept, I think we shall um, send them off to uh, take a look at the other vessels. The pirates are not in sight, so... morning all of you are now drafted and enter this vessel I think we'll go take a look at this one first There's an airlock there. Doesn't appear to be an airlock here. All right, we start out violently. Keep seeing the craft. Take 
pick up that thing, please. Okay, so Wooly is sort of struggling here. I think we'll send him back to the vessel. There's not too many of those things on board because those are really nasty. Catherine and Pips are struggling. So I think we'll send them back to the vessel as well. While Ms. Matrix can go and pick up that data pad and we'll have to come back here. Oh, it's just credits. Because they really need to rest. Dr. Pips to the rescue. Healing the poor Wally, who has been damaged quite massively. Miss Matrix is cleaning up the walls after Wally has bled on them. That's good. You'd be lonely, Wally. So many people are coming in and checking in on you, cleaning the walls and giving you medicine and IV fluids and everything. You should be fine. of 16. I assume that these are using system points, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are not using system points. 10, 12. That should make 4 left. Imagine that. How long are you going to be down for? Three hours. Okay, so we'll let them sleep before... ...doing anything else. Uh, is there anything else we need? Uh, we can probably refine some more water as well. The CO2 generator. Is 
Someone put the ship on fire. Guess who it was? Hmm. Everyone is so surprised. Oh, and by the way, um, do go over and check out Wally's channel as well. He's probably doing the same, similar kind of uh, chastising of uh, me in his series as well. You'll, you'll find him in, uh, in my recommended channels section. Uh, he makes excellent content, so highly recommended. Now let's draft these guys and go back to that horrible ship, uh, Entercraft. Can't wait for uh, some kind of armor. That will be a massive help. I don't think it's been added yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure the dev intends to add it. Okay, now let's dock at the same location. isn't an issue but those blasted flying things definitely are since there were so many of them I kind of expect there to be another room on this vessel that has uh, those egg infestation things. Oh, it's just a part of the hallway. Okay. I think that infestation is somewhere up here, which would make sense looking at the walls as well. Ah, there is another thing in here. Credits and data log, excellent. Yeah, you know what? Let's just stand here and shoot at the wall. Something here as well. They need oxygen. Can I pick up credits? Okay, so we need to get back to the vessel for O2. There we go. And then we can go back here. supposed to be an, an airlock somewhere up here. No, the airlock was actually supposed to be down where we were at because it had the uh, storage. Ship explored. Okay, let's undraft you guys and undraft the vessel as well. 
Perhaps didn't deal well with this. Oh. Oh, 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 wait, hey, wait, guys. Uh, Miss. in here oh hello we got a new crew member yay undraft undraft and undraft who's this guy Kobe he's an alien lover who used to be a salesperson. He has very broad skills, but he's quite good at industry. He cannot construct anything. He doesn't... Well, he used to be a salesperson. Of course he doesn't have any intelligence. But he's got quite the amount of zest perception, and he's not very brave. I wonder how he can learn... For having such a high intelligence, Wally, you have a surprising adeptness at uh, putting things on fire and so forth. Um, so, Kobe. We can't have you being named Kobe. Uh, this will be... Hmm, this, this can be Quadrotus. Uh, we want you to be in... Uh, Yeah, pink and black, that looks good. Incoming ship, the military alliance. Yay, we got a new crew member. Speaking of which, I intended to build... Where is that facility, probably? A toilet. And then we want to have a bedroom here. The MAS Ollivander, do you have anything we want to trade with you? Probably not. I think we were the ones who traded all those things to them. We have a shotgun. We have nine pistols. Uh, I don't need nine pistols. How much IV fluids do we have? Fourteen. These are things that I sold to them. We can make the, those ourselves. Uh, let's trade a little bit more with them. We can sell them the uh, human meat. <laughs> and we can sell them the processed food. Do we have anything else that we want to get rid of? probably need to get uh, that shotgun. I don't know where it is. It is in this one. <laughs> Environment condition. Oh. 
Oh dear, that, that's not ideal. We need a vent in that room. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, air vent, you know? Would be a good idea, I've heard, since there is no vent into that room currently. Um... You should probably go sleep in that bed instead, until we have done... Now, Quad, you need to go there. Drop, pick up an item. Get the shotgun, very good, and undraft you. The Dreadnought. We have ceased that, so we can select all, transfer them, and ignore that thing. puzzle that one oxygen generator is enough to make enough oxygen for the entirety of the ship. But it actually seems like it is enough. The salvage like here, we can get those at least. Does this thing have an airlock? No, it wouldn't appear it does. Okay, let's draft everyone and have a go at the uh, other ship. Is there room for everyone in here? No, there isn't. Uh, Quad, uh, you can stay at home. Or wait, what's your... Uh... You have two in weapons. Okay, so you will not stay at home. Um... Peps. You actually have no weapon skill. How ironic. You will be the one who stay at home. Um, Molly, you're supposed to enter the vessel. Usual, he's the weak link. Now, let's dock here. Everyone can exit. We're right into the fray of battle. That thing actually managed to bump all over there. Well, hello. Yeah, those shotguns are definitely the best weapons so far. Uh, 
I'm being very gentle in my explorations, as you guys can see, um, because why should we be careful when it's derelicts anyways, and they have all these nasty aliens inside? Okay, so apparently we can't shoot that wall. Very reinforced. Nothing of interest in there. This ship also had a major alien infestation. I wonder how they get those alien infestations. Okay, undraft and undraft. Yeah, we know how to salvage. It's fine. The adamant statecraft. Select all transferred, but not the alien corpses. We don't want those. I think we have to uh, start growing uh, roots on this one. Fruits and vegetables. That means we have two of each here and a meat. We have two fruits. Okay, so let's swap this out with vegetables. As for salvage on this vessel, uh, let's get the tech and energy scrap. And since we're nearing the end of the episode, let's read the final entry of the Tranquility data log. Not going anywhere. We sold the engines, like I said. I'm pretty sure I'm richer now than I ever was back on Earth. Still ain't got the same elbow room like I did on the ranch. Can't buy back the sky no matter how rich I get. But hell, we have a bar now with real alcohol. Good alcohol. It's a little taste of what we lost. The best bits anyway. And people come a long way to get a sample and trade. Ain't no difference to us what they trade. Guns, ore, food. There's a fellow down on the market deck sells nothing but jukeboxes and arcade machines. Not to mention all the services down there that folks can't take home, like a haircut or a little uh, affection. So long as the station gets, it cut, gets its cut, I don't care what folks sell here. Feels good. Feels like home, you know. All a room in this sky, though, and there's lots places a long way from here ain't got no central hub like Tranquility provides. I bet it's only a matter of time before somebody else sets up a trade hub elsewhere in the sky, and from there, well, human history basically boils down to trading or fighting. Good luck to him, I say. I can think of a few good spots where a trade station might make a real good living. Me, I'm gonna enjoy some more of this fruit brandy, then go see Vivienne and her girls for, for some of their famous uh, pancakes. <laughs> this was Captain Michael Raymond, CEO of Tranquility Hub. Happy trails. That actually didn't end too bad for them. But on that note, I think it is time to end this episode. So uh, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next one.